everybody. If you're here, um, you're probably having the same issue that I was having. Um, you've got a, a Logitech or other controller that seems responsive in Windows, but for whatever reason, Unreal Editor um, isn't picking it up. Um, it's, in, it's not responsive in the gameplay. Um, it's also, if you're following any of the tutorial videos or whatnot, you've also probably gone into settings and uh, looked at your input. I can tell you, um, if you click on one of these buttons here, um, it's waiting for your input. And if you're pressing buttons on your controller and nothing's happening, that means that just Unreal is not registering your type of controller. Um, so that's the bad news. Good news is uh, I found a fix. After probably wasting about an hour uh, of my time, um, I found something. Um, so I'll show you what that is. It's actually really easy to do. Um, just requires a little bit of navigation. So where you'll want to go is you'll want to go to uh, this website. And what it is, is it's an Xbox controller emulator. So basically your controller, for whatever reason, isn't um, registered within the default binaries in um, UE4. And so we're going to emulate the controller and then point uh, UE4 to this emulated controller through the DLL in your binaries folder. Um, so basically you want to navigate to this part of the screen. Um, you've got two options, 32 bit or 64 bit, depending on your system. If you don't know what type of system you have, um, just go into the, your Explorer here, um, properties on your PC, and you should be able to see it in system type. I imagine most people that are using Unreal probably have the 64 bit version. So if you're unsure and can't figure out that navigation, then just try the 64 bit one. No big deal if you download both and try both, but um, yeah. Anyways, so download that um, should show up in your uh, downloadable files. You'll get a zip folder. Um, you can see I've been playing around a little bit here, but anyways, all you need to do is go into the zip folder, get this um, executable out, um, copy that into a directory wherever you want, and then run it. So if I double click on this, uh, this is the screen that'll pop up. You'll actually see if this is your first time executing it, you'll see two warnings. The first one is not a big deal. It's just saying, um, you know, there's a 32 bit game within this folder. So you should probably look for this 32 bit application. In my case, uh, I've got windows 64 bit. So I want the 64 bit. So I'm going to ignore this, this error, but there's another error that originally came up and it, uh, talks about, um, creating the DLL file for you. So you absolutely want to do that in this column, click the button with the second error and make sure that it runs. And then after that, you can ignore the remaining errors. After that's done, you'll be in the GUI, which is what we want. You'll notice your controller. If it's registered within windows, we'll just automatically start registering, um, clicks and you can see those highlight on the different buttons. Um, if you've used an emulator for a joystick uh, before, um, then you'll see that you can configure all of the different buttons in the configuration that you want. When you're done, I just left it as default. Um, they're all registering as it should. Uh, just hit save. It's really important. You got to close it at this step. And then you'll have three different files available to you. You'll have your original install file, your DLL, and then the config file that's just saved your configuration for the joystick. You really only need the DLL file, but you might as well take all three of them and keep them in one location. Um, so copy those and then navigate to wherever you have Unreal installed. Um, in my case, uh, C drive, program files, Epic Games. Uh, here's another important part of the process. You'll need to do this process, uh, basically just copying the DLL files. Um, for each instance of UE that you're using. So some people are using four or five different instances. I've got two because I just upgraded to 426. So I actually went into um, uh, each folder, engine, binaries. Uh, in my case, this is important too. So depending, again, depending on which file you downloaded, 32 or 64 bit, you'll need to pick the appropriate folder. I hope you can figure out which one's which. Pretty straightforward. Um, so in our case, the 64 folder, uh, copy and paste those files in. I already did it, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, and then, uh, like I said, for every instance, you'll have to do that again. So navigate in 425, engine, 
uh, binaries, Win64, copy the, fi copy the files in there. Um, and then if you have any uh, open versions of Unreal, best to close them, close out of them, uh, open Unreal again, and then you'll notice it starts working. So um, that's all that you had to do. Um, and you'll see that now that I've done that, I can control the editor. If I hit um, play, my, uh, let's see, whoops, I got to click on the screen. That'll help. There you go. Click on the screen. Um, and the guy is doing just what you would expect. A button is jumping, moving around, everything. So your uh, joypad now becomes um, cooperative with the game. And then you can pick up where all the tutorials um, are showing you. How to configure in your settings, and in your input, all that sort of stuff. But none of that will work and you'll be pulling your hair out until you get to this point if you had the same problem that I have. So I hope I saved you a bunch of time. I was surprised there was no YouTube tutorial on this. So maybe it's, you know, not many people have an older um, controller, but I hope this helps some people. And uh, yeah, you know what? I'm new to Unreal. I'm going to be creating a, a few more videos, I'm sure, as I navigate and learn a few things. So I hope to share that with you and uh, uh, we'll go from there.